everyone. It's Mike here from Primal Surf in Brigantine, New Jersey. We are on the beach. It's uh, March. Weather temp is about 50, low 50 degrees. Ocean temperature is 44 today. I'm wearing a three mil suit with boots. Uh, just gonna take a flat water paddle, maybe ride a few waves. I wanna demonstrate this board. This is a uh, 10 foot six inch NSP Coco Flax. One of my favorite boards for um, selling to someone that's going to do anything from flat water paddling in another location to ocean paddling, cruising out there with the dolphins and just having a great day, launching on the beach, spending the day in the water. As you get better, maybe you want to try riding a few waves on a small day. But uh, we're going to take it for a spin. When you're paddling, whether it's flat water or in the ocean surfing, always want to have a leash you want to have a substantial leash that's properly recommended for the sport and for the board for the size of the board alrighty so get your paddle I'm using an adjustable paddle today and but normally if I'm surfing I like a cut paddle just for a lighter weight so when you're paddling out you want to watch the waves Definitely want to go on a flat day, light wind. You don't want chop, you don't want side shore currents. And you want to have some experience before you just get out in the ocean. So it's a pretty easy paddle out. I see that the waves are breaking pretty consistently over here. And when you are walking the board into the water, you don't want to be around swimmers or surfers, especially if you're a beginner. Make sure you have some flat water experience in and you're capable of handling boat wakes, anything that comes along that's going to upset your balance. You wait for the waves to come through. Always keep the nose pointed out directly into the waves. Keep the tip of the board up above the waves. Once you see an opening where it's flat, then it's time to hop on the board. Pop it up and over. Okay, and kneel up on the board in the center. Okay, I'm choking up on the paddle. Paddle right through it. Now normally I'm just gonna stand up on the board and paddle out, but I'm doing this for the beginner to intermediate where you want to paddle on your knees to get through the small surf. Keep in mind, I, I never suggest doing this unless you have plenty of flat water experience. You're a good swimmer. And you do it the right way with the right equipment. Okay, so we're out beyond the breakers. What I'm gonna do is point my board into the direction of the swell so that I see what's coming at me. Okay, got a paddle in one hand. I'm kneeling right over the, the handle on the board, which is the center point of the board. Keep your head up, look at the horizon. Stand up, feet about shoulder width, and start paddling. Once you get the board moving, it becomes more stable. Try to hit the waves straight on. Just relax. Keep the knees fluid. Keep them bent. Paddle right up and over. If I'm just standing here and I'm not sure of myself, the waves will bounce the board out from under me and down I'll go. If you are, falling off of a board make sure you're falling away from the board keep the paddle away from you don't try to grab the board going down you could tweak your arm up and once you're out here the waves start just turning into rollers you just want to absorb the horizon get into the flow of the surface of the water this is a nice little wave later in the video I'm gonna ride a few of these waves.
Now this water temperature is about 44 degrees today and I'm wearing a thin suit. I'm not planning on falling. I'm not wearing gloves either. If I was surfing and the waves were bigger, I'd have gloves on, I'd have a thicker suit. Okay, so I've got my paddle adjusted to about six inches above my head because I'm just standing upright on the board, making it easy. I'm sightseeing, I'm looking for any ocean life. You get all kinds of birds flying by, fish. You can look for the, uh, the tail splashes where the fish come in. Stripers are chasing bait fish. Um, you'll see the occasional seal. You see a lot of dolphin. Once in a while we'll get whales coming by migrating and they have a tendency to stay in one area for a while. So if you do see one, Try not to get too close, just stand around and wait for them to surface and breach and have fun with that. So I can paddle for miles. I'm just getting into it, just getting warmed up. The paddle stroke is reaching your upper arm, comes across your body. You want the paddle to get upright, but you want your body to focus down the center of the board, okay? My arms are reaching out over the side. My head is right down the center line of the board. I don't have to look down at the side. I know what's going on with my paddle. You want the paddle to enter the water just slightly beyond where you're reaching at a level at an angle and then push forward and down with the upper arm if I start veering off course switch sides grab below your your hand that's handing off the paddle put your hand back up on top same thing on the opposite side and notice my course the trajectory has switched sides All right, so I want to turn and go back the other way. I could turn in and go that way, but as a beginner, the waves hitting you from behind are going to be surprising. So you might want to turn into the waves, which I'll step back a little bit to get the nose of the board up. If I step back further, I start sinking the tail, keeping the nose up, and I'm using a C stroke to turn the board and come back up to a somewhat parallel stance. I keep my feet altered, meaning one foot a little bit forward th than the other. And the handle is your center balance point of the board. It's the widest part of the board, just about. When you get on the board for the first time, you wanna loosen up your your muscles, wake up your fast twitch muscles, and and just get the feel of the board to balance. Okay, everything kind of happens from the waist down. Meaning your, your quick reflexes. If you're tense and you start to use your upper body, that's gonna be a difficult way to stand on the board. Not impossible, but difficult. All right, I hate to see all these waves go by unridden, so I'm gonna try to catch one of these if I can. Let's see, probably won't get this one, but. Oh, here we go. We're in it. Had that little runner for a bit. Since I'm gonna serve, I'm gonna shorten this paddle a little bit. All right, I'm looking at the waves coming in, making sure there's nobody inside of me. Start to turn for the wave, and I see it's hitting the trough and not going to break where I would like it to. Wow, what a beautiful day. 
this is a break in the winter there's a lot of days through the winter that you can go flat water paddling or ocean paddling with just a 3-2 three 3-2 two. Three two is 3 3 millimeter in the body 2 millimeters in the arm and leg so on a sunny day if you're not falling a lot um, you can get out on the out on the bay or in flat water and spend several hours and come back probably hot if the sun goes in and the wind picks up temperature will change very quickly so be aware of that all right so i see a wave coming in over here let's see if i can spin it around and chase that down There we go. 